Welcome back. Team Duel Championships being decided tonight at the Wells Fargo Arena for day one of state wrestling. KCAU 9's Noah Sacco is in Des Moines all week and has our action from the evening session now. Yeah, Jake, we reached part two of the state wrestling team duels tonight, where our three Sioux Lane teams didn't battle for any titles, but each still with a chance to end their seasons on a win. Starting off in the fifth place duel for 1A, number eight Emmitsburg against number six Missouri Valley. Ehawks down 30 to six. Ben Hansen ahead five zip, getting the takedown over Emmitsburg's Josh Van Kuvelen in 152, leading to the major decision win 11 to one. Ehawks though finding life at 160. Justin Wirtz secures the takedown on Cody Gilpin for two, and he shut the door soon after via an overtime win by decision five to three. But the Ehawks were just in too big of a hole as Gage Jorgensen suffers the third period pin in two. 85, giving Emmitsburg the sixth place finish in 1A duels. They got a taste of being in the state tournament environment, out on the mat in the state tournament and competing, and, and hopefully that puts a taste in their mouth that they, they want to get back here and they know what it takes to do that. So, so we're hoping to be back here again. Up to the third place match in 1A, number three West Sioux, number five Logan Magnolia. 120 class Braden Graff came into today 43 and one, and he'd stay sharp with the takedown over Corbin Reitz, following it with a 4-1 win by decision after three. West Sioux on the board 12 to three. Falcons would lead 31-29 into 195. Juan Topiti gets the late points in the third before holding out for the 10-8 decision win. Really looks like West Sioux has it in the bag, but the Panthers would get three points in the 220 match, and Rex John. Johnson played the hero in 285, pinning Keegan McMillan in 14 seconds. West Sioux loses a heartbreaker for a fourth place finish in 1A duels, 38-34. We'll be back. Uh, we'll go get after it again, but this team, uh, very, very special. This senior class, been to the state duels four years. West Sioux, the last five years, um, you know, this, this senior class, three top four finishes. So when you talk about that stuff, you know, it's, it's really, really, really special. Finally, in 2A, third place match between number four Sergeant Bluff Luton and number three Osage. 126 SBL ahead 10 6. Bo Kudum flipping Tucker Stangle for a takedown. Stangle, though, gets the last laugh with an 8 6 win by decision. Warriors would get three back soon after in 145. Hunter Steffens hanging on for an 8 2 decision win against Max Gast. 12 straight points for SBL. They lead 22 12. But Osage scores 10 points in a row to make it 34 28, giving them a chance at 285. And Mac Muller took control over Sean Zimmerman with a quick takedown, going on to get both shoulders down in 73 seconds to tie it at 34 apiece, as Osage claims third place in two-way with the first points criteria win. Second time today that's happened. That's a wrap for state wrestling team duels, but we go traditional starting tomorrow through Saturday for state individual play. Be sure to tune in to KCU 9 for all the action. In Des Moines, Noah Sacco, KCU 9 Sports.